Well, I think it's safe to say that conservatives have reached a new level of desperation because after multiple attempts to manufacture scandals about Tim Walls have all failed, they're now digging deep to find a single attack that sticks. And I mean, real deep. But before I tell you what they've cooked up recently, let's compare Tim Walls' favorability to J.D. Vance's, and that'll kind of give you a hint as to why they're so desperate. So as you can see, Tim Walls has a net favorability rating of plus 5 compared to J.D. Vance's net favorability of minus 9.2. In other words, as more Americans learn about J.D. Vance, they like him less, whereas the opposite is true for Tim Walls. So of course, they can't let that stand, so they've tried to drive down Walls' favorability by calling him Tampon Tim and accusing him of stolen valor, but none of that has landed. This new attack, however, might actually have an impact. So a GOP strategist and columnist for the right-wing publication Town Hall uncovered the most sinister Tim Walls scandal of all time, tweeting, quote, Yes, this is Tim Walls tweeting about his dog Scout. Only problem is that these are two completely different dogs. Now, as you can see, he shares two tweets from Walls, one with a picture of him and Scout where he wishes Scout happy birthday, and another where Tim Walls talks about taking Scout to a dog dog park, but in the picture, as you can see, that dog is not Scout. It's a completely different dog. Dun dun dun. Now, maybe it is Scout, but he dyed his hair. Or possibly, you know, he replaced Scout with a new dog, also named Scout. Perhaps Tim Walls was cheating on Scout with a different dog. It's hard to say for sure, but what Grage uncovered here is a scandal that proves once and for all that Tim Walls is definitely a liar, and he's even lying about his dog. Now, fellow right-wingers wasted no time letting their followers know about this very serious scandal. For example, Trump Jr.'s girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle, tweeted, Wait, so Walls is even lying about his dog? Rough stuff. Oh, that's a sick burn right there. Eric Schmidt says, Why would Tim Walls do this? It's creepy and weird. Oh, see, this is brilliant because he's using the weird attack on him. Interesting. Cat Turd tweeted a picture of a guy around a lot of dogs saying Tim Walls with his 50 dogs named Scout. So he's clearly leaning towards the theory that Tim Walls just names all of his dogs Scout. Now racist Trump operative Charlie Kirk called Walls an all-time legendary liar because of this. And the story was even picked up by right-wing media. So let's watch. By the way, did you hear Tim Waltz with the dog situation on Dog Day a day ago? <laughs> two scouts. <laughs> two different, yeah, two different really dogs. They both have the same name. I don't think he's got a dog. Um, That's like the, he's the George Foreman of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. All right, gentlemen. And thanks. just a few months later, somebody discovered another tweet about another dog named Scout. Except it's a totally different dog. So which one's Scout? The campaign had no answer for us. That's all we got for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. That smug look on his face says it all. You know, they've got him dead to rights. It's over for Tim Walls. He's been proven as a liar. Hashtag where's Scout? Will the real Scout please stand up? You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. And since I was unable to formulate a reasonable defense after looking at all of the evidence presented by right-wingers, I decided to talk to an expert on the matter. So here's the conversation that I had with Humanist Report dog correspondent, Poopy Figueredo. Sir Poopy, so tell me, as an expert on human-dog relations, what is your takeaway from the photograph? Is Tim Walls lying or is he not lying? Mm. Okay. Thank you, Poopy. He's a very good boy. So look, I've had a lot of fun with this story, but let's get down to brass tags here. What's the actual explanation? Is Tim Walls a liar? Well, if you go to Tim Walls' Instagram, you can see the photo that's now being circulated. It's there. And uh, the photo is actually a thumbnail for this video, which does, in fact, feature Scout. There he is. And it seems like the other dog featured in the photo with Tim Walls that was being shared was a dog that Scout was playing with. So the explanation is that he just loves dogs and was petting other dogs at the dog park that he took Scout to. This story made it on right-wing media. It made it on right-wing media. Supposedly, serious news networks picked up this story. And the explanation is, you know, he likes dogs, so he was petting, <laughs> I'm sorry. He was petting another dog at the dog park. How fucking dare he? <laughs> 
And what's funny is that the original tweet is still up, but now it has an embarrassing community note explaining the obvious. Tim Wallace was at a dog park with Scout and other dogs, but this moron was so confident that he had the story of the century that he followed up with this tweet an hour later explaining why Wallace has been able to get away with so many lies. It's because the media in Minnesota doesn't hold him accountable and instead publishes stories like this about his cat that went missing, which he mocked as, quote, hard-hitting news. Right, because as we all know, a real journalist would investigate whether or not a governor is lying about his dog. That's actual hard-hitting news. Look, I'm not surprised by the stupidity of the right. I talk about it all the time. The only thing, I guess, that surprises me about this story is that Dustin isn't trying to conspiracy monger about Walls' missing cat and, I guess, try to tie him to it and claim that, you know, he is responsible for the disappearance of his own cat in some twisted way. Like, that's the only thing that's shocking, that they're not pouncing on that. But the takeaway is that they have nothing on Tim Walls. They have nothing on him. And listen, I've got to say, if you're so desperate for a scandal that you are fishing for lies that he might have told about his pet dog, you've already lost. Now, that's not to say that there can't be scandals about politicians and dogs, with Christy Nome being the most glaring example, but to see that he's petting a dog and to try to find some way to concoct a conspiracy theory about that... I think that's evidence that you have brain rot. You need to log off and go touch grass. I mean that, unironically. You need to log off at that point if you are investigating a politician for supposedly lying about his dog. Even if Tim Walz did lie about his dog, that is an inconsequential lie. Maybe you can say it proves that he's a liar, but nonetheless, it has no implications on policy. So I just, I feel like, why? Like, why? Why would you do this? Because you're making yourself look stupid. And the reason why I said this will have an impact so far is because it really shows how desperate the right is and how there really is nothing on walls. Because if this is the best that you've got, then it seems like he's squeaky clean. But look, I will say this, keep it up because I'm sure there's some controversy that you can gin up that definitely won't make you look stupid, right? I mean, when it comes to Tim Walls, if you still want to See if there's any lies about the dog or some scandal there to be found with the dog. I don't know. Maybe you can go to the greatest hits of the GOP and imply that Tim Walls is grooming his dog and trying to turn him into LGBTQ or something while you're at it. Wait, that's a joke that they wouldn't, right? Tell me they wouldn't. They wouldn't actually do that. I'm, ju I'm just kidding. That's that's not something that they would. Far-right influencer Joey Manorino tweets, Tim Walls dressed up his dog for a pride parade and he's basically Somalian. Don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, I won't say the rest, but I hope that dog is okay. Oh, so they're actually doing it. They're actually implying Tim Walls is grooming his dog and turning him LGBTQ. Okay, apparently things can get dumber when it comes to uh, conspiracy mongering about his dog. All right, we're done here. Nothing left to be said. Where there's glue. Mama, mama. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children will be like, Mama, glue, 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 glue. I turn on mama. TV, there's glue in the background. Every TV show, news media, why? Glue, 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 glue. They're everywhere. Glue, 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 gl